All right, welcome to our day, not even sure of the shofar blowing. And we're trying each day to give a different, you know, interpretation on what the blowing of the shofar means. So the interpretation that I want to bring today is the idea that us Jewish people, we believe in this idea that history has a purpose and a meaning and a goal. And at the end of that goal will be this society that is truly just and truly free and truly like, well, just for everybody that's a part of it. And we call this society the times of the Messiah. And one of the ideas on Rosh Hashanah is that Rosh Hashanah is part of the inauguration of the Messianic era. And we have this tradition, ancient, ancient tradition, that when the era of the Messiah actually comes, God will be revealed through the sound of the shofar. And so the shofar in its piercing, incredible tone is a symbol for this time of peace and justice and tranquility that will one day come to the earth. And without further ado, take us away. Right, I'll do the sounds with slightly differently. I'll do each of the broken sounds separately. And then to conclude, I'll do the sound that is in particular associated with the time of the Messiah, the time of the Mashiach, a sound which we actually haven't done yet before, which is the Tekiah Gedola, the long Tekiah, the super long Tekiah, longer than the ones we've done so far. So that's what we conclude with. So here we go. Nice. So we're running Shul for Rosh Hashanah Yom Kippur. Catch us on Zoom, catch us on Facebook Live, and uh, we'll, we'll keep bringing these, these little videos to you. Bye for now. Bye bye.